like everybody else, it's gone. <laughs> okay, no, I'm trying different options. Um, this great <clears throat> Home Depot, five bucks. Perfect. That is probably going to be temporary. <clears throat> I still have an alignment issue. This was just something I pulled up. And I just wanted to try its practice. But you can see how it goes. I mean, it sucks. So I'm going to have to try and either keep the machine, return it, or find a way to compensate it. Working on the unit. This is my temporary setup. And I have high powered magnets behind this. Keep it from moving. Those things are amazing. It makes this stick like a rock even through the aluminum. Okay, see, you can see where the laser starts right here to here. That is very off. But I think I got it lined up to where it will cut straight. Let's find out. This is one of my number one problems I'm having is not having a straight edge. So that's a lot better. I'd have to measure it, but at least it's square here so I can line up better because boy, I was having such a problem with lining up. As you can see, I rivet it this on so it doesn't move. Of course the mesh and then this. And then, um, I'd say that's pretty accurate now. Let me show you. Put it right here. And let's see what it can do. Right on the line. Nice. So, I hope that helps my problem. Because it really was annoying. And this is a really easy way of doing it. Okay. Straight, straight. Dauber Freight, this was four bucks. Put it right where it needed to be. I still want to remove this eventually. But, and this was like a couple bucks, five bucks or something at Home Depot. Hobby Lobby actually sells them too. I gotta see which is cheaper with the 